Welcome to the Joe Flynn Show, ladies and gentlemen. It's that time to get scared here on the Joe Flynn Show. Oh, it is me, Priscilla, the co-host of The Joe Flynn Show, and I am here with Matt Vinaha. Matt Vinaha has been on our show before. Matt, the last time you were on the show, did you want to kind of give the audience an idea as to what movies you had going on at that time? Definitely, definitely. Um, well, first off, thank you for letting me come back on the show. I've missed you guys. I missed the show. Um but anyways, yeah, um, last time I was on, I talked about my movie, How to Kill a Zombie. That was my first movie I ever made. It was a five-minute horror short uh, inspired by George Romero's Night of the Living Dead. And then I did a half-hour-long movie called Horror at House 318, which just, it was my first half-hour-long movie, and it was so much fun. And I decided, you know, the story was so fun, and I loved all the people I worked with, so I decided to make a sequel. And that's why I'm on the show today. And your sequel is called Chloroform Girl. And did you want to talk a little bit about what that's going to be about? Or did you want to kind of leave it a mystery? Say what you feel is fit. All right. Well, just like I said, Chloroform Girl is, is going to be the sequel to Horror to House 318. What I wanted to do, really, I didn't want the audience to see the movie um, and then be confused and be like, okay, well, I didn't see the first one first, so I don't know what's going on right now. So I made the film kind of in a way where you can see the sequel without really seeing the first one. So it's kind of its its own story on its own by itself without really seeing the sequel. I mean, the first one, I'm sorry. But but yeah, it was totally fun. It, it took me two years to make it. Uh, actually, I think it was a little bit over two years to finish it. And um, it's a 70-minute long movie, and it was just so much fun. I love my cast. I love working with everybody, and it was just so much fun. And um, have you had any of the same characters and cast members in your previous movies and in Chloroform Girl now? How did you do the casting for your movies? Well, I wanted to add a lot of the same characters from the last one, but the problem is that a lot of the characters got killed off in the first one. So I, I brought back as many as I could. Like my friend Randy Clayton is in the movie and uh, Kelly, the main character in the movie, Sabrina and Tom. Like everybody is, is basically still in it. But, you know, I brought along a whole bunch of new people. Like my like one of my best friends, Brittany Stewart. I brought along you, Priscilla. And I brought Joe Flynn. And, you know, I brought some of my cousins. And it was just, it, it just, a lot of my friends are in it. We all had a really great time. And they all, because I know a lot of people have a lot of potential to do acting. But a lot of people don't have um, the experience to do it. So they never try it. So I wanted, you know, I have a friends who I know would be good at it. So I was like, hey, I want you to be in my movie. I know you have potential. And they, they went in it and rocked it out, and the movie came out great. Excellent. And how long did it take for you to write this sequel? Uh, it's kind of a funny story. I started writing the script, actually. I wrote it about two years ago, but I kind of got a little bit ahead of myself. See, what happened was I wrote the first five scenes, I believe it was, and then I started filming, and the script wasn't finished yet. So I started filming while the script wasn't finished and it it wasn't going it, it wasn't working out so i i threw away the entire script i threw away all the footage i had and i just started from scratch so from the time when i first started writing it until when i finished a new one that was about a year it took me about a year to do it nice nice and joe plays a significant role in this movie you're going to see a side of Joe that we hopefully don't show any longer. It's the dark side. <laughs> the dark side of the Joe. And he actually impressed me with how well he did a job in this in this oh, movie. He did a great job. Um, so at what point did you think Joe has to be the one to play this character? Ever since I met Joe, he's always been a character by himself. I... I didn't want to put Joe in the movie playing somebody else. I wanted Joe to be in the movie playing Joe. He's just a crazy character. He's so lovable in his own scary way. And, uh, you know, he's just a really cool guy. And, you know, I love his hat. I love I love his facial hair. He just, he just, I don't know, there's something about him. I really wanted to put him in. And then I wanted to put in the very beautiful, talented Priscilla over here. So, and there's no way, there's no way I can, I can separate the two of them. So I had to have them both. So... Oh, and um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's mine. Um, Go ahead. But yeah, Joe plays a really crazy character. I can't tell you 
uh, what character it is. That's going to be a it's, it's it's a mystery in the movie, but he plays himself, and that's and that's all you really need to know. He does an excellent job, so it turned out really really well. Well, thank you for having us in your movie because we rarely get that opportunity, and when we do try to act, Joe actually does act. I try still. It's a lot of fun, so thank you. And speaking of Joe, let's get Joe over here. 